lighter gear. How I went from the cheaper gear in the beginning, just to get out there, to shedding pounds using the make your own gear method. My first overnight was in 2014. A four day, three night trip in early fall in the Shawnee National Forest of Southern Illinois. When I left for that trip, my base weight was 25 pounds. I did some training and conditioning, but not nearly enough. By the last day of the trip, my legs were overworked. It was extremely painful to hike, which caused me to rethink my gear. As of this video, I've cut my original 25 pounds down to 12. That makes my back and legs happy. We're going to talk about the transition of my big three items in this video. Shelters, packs, bag, quilt. Here's the tent I purchased for the trip. My kids helped me set it up in the backyard. It's a three person cop and hammer. Weighs six pounds with fly. Cost about $80 at a sporting goods store. You can set it up in under 10 minutes. Here's a picture from the second night's campsite on the trip. We originally had four people going and the tent was intended for two of us. But as the trip drew near, we ended up with three. I would not recommend fitting three dudes in this tent unless you're all shorter than five foot eight and have been friends for 30 years. Here's the best campsite of the trip next to a wooded lake. Setting up the tent includes putting the tent poles together, the body clips to the poles making it pretty painless. Stake it out, throw the fly over the top, and you're all set. Last tent picture is a backyard sunrise with my daughter. I've had a lot of good memories with this tent. After that first trip, I started researching how to reduce the weight of my gear. I found you could either spend a lot of money or spend a lot of time on gear. I don't have a lot of money, so time went out. I found a copy of Beyond Backpacking by Ray Jardine at the library. Love him or hate him, the guy has some interesting ideas about gear. When I finished reading his book, I made a Jardine-esque tarp with bug net. It's good for two people. I use it with my daughter. It weighs two and a half pounds. It cost me about $150 for all the material and Z-line. Tracking poles not included in that price. I assume you already have purchased those. It will take you a little longer to set up than the tent. The tarp is so nylon, the floor of the bug net is urethane coated nylon. Your biggest investment will be your time. It took me about 15 hours to sew it all together. You could do it faster. I took my time, worked on it at night after the kids were in bed, I put my favorite tunes on, and the thread started flying. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you my Ozark Trail 40 degree mummy bag in all its glory. Why did I get it? Heck, I don't know. It was cheap. Got it at Walmart. It is advertised as a 40 degree bag, but let me tell you, you're going to be chilly. It weighs two pounds and costs $45. When I bought it, the average low temp for the trip was in the upper 40s. When the time came, a cold front was moving through and the low during the trip was 37. Now I could tell that sleeping bag wasn't going to keep me warm at 37 degrees. I think the rating is more like 50 or 55 degree bag in actuality. I added a fleece blanket we had around the house as a liner and that added another pound and a half but kept me warm. Would you look at that smiling fella? That's me the day I finished my quilt. Here are the stats. Rated to 32 degrees. I've used it down to 36 so far. Weighs a pound and a half. All materials cost about $120 and took me about eight hours to make. I used a layer of six ounce Primaloft Gold insulation stacked with the three ounce layer. The shell is 0.66 membrane tin taffeta nylon. 
I got the idea for this fabric by watching Joe Brewer's videos about making his own quilt for the PCT. You should be able to click on his video in the upper right hand corner. Highly recommend Joe's channel. He has quite a few make your own gear videos as well as videos from his triple crown hikes. This is a quilt I made for my daughter to use on our adventures. A little smaller and a little lighter. I've been building her backpacking kit over the last year in preparation of taking her on her first overnight adventures. This was a few years ago, and what I like is the fact that my daughter could have fit my 55 liter backpack at that time. I bought it at an outdoor retailer. I didn't know how to shop for backpacks at that point. Once I tested it on the trail, I realized I was too skinny for the hip belt. So I ended up rigging additional foam inside the hip belt to allow it to work effectively. This is just off the river to river trail. I'm standing next to a Native American pictograph of a buffalo. This pack is a High Sierra brand internal frame and 55 liters. Paid $90 for it. Kind of unique. It has access to the main body from the top and bottom. I added webbing to the front of the pack to hold a wet tent or ground tarp. It got the job done, but it was just so heavy at 4 pounds. So when you've saved space by switching to a tarp and made your own quilt, you can reduce your pack size. For a lighter pack, I went with the Ray Jardine 2600 cubic inch backpack kit. That is roughly 42 liters. It is a frameless pack, so that means it doesn't have any stiff material holding its shape. The kit was $90 off Ray's website, and I spent about 15 hours sewing it together. One of the best features of the pack are the extra pockets. There are two oversized pockets on each side that completely holds a smart water bottle. There's a huge pocket on the front where you can store your tarp and bug net. I added a pouch for my cell phone on one of the shoulder straps and you can see at the bottom of this picture. Here's my first test hike with it in the rain. Obviously my Frog Togs rain jacket made the cut as well. A better picture of the pack in action. I also made a hands-free camera holder for my tracking pole. I used a metal strap that typically holds ductwork under your house. Holding that together and acting as a camera attachment is a quarter inch bolt. I put it high enough on my pole that it doesn't snag on vegetation while hiking, yet it is far enough away to allow good shots. Also from Joe Brewer's channel is my everyday carry wallet. I made this from X-Pack fabric. It's light, thin, and repels water. If you are a beginner, the best suggestion I have is to check out through hiker videos, especially their gear review or list after they're done. The pros know what worked for them day in and day out. If you need a list of through hiker channels, well, I can help with that. Check out the link to my blog in the description box below. I spent a couple years tracking through hikers on the AT each month. Besides reducing the weight of the gear that you carry, the other way to reduce weight is to take less. But that's another video for another time. You can also check out a new ebook I helped a loner with called Appalachian Trail Who's Who on YouTube. It has over 150 hikers with the links to their channels embedded right in the book. If you want access to a lot of information without searching for days, this book is for you. Check it out on Amazon.